Hi, I'm Andrew Cooperthwaite, Alpine Product Manager with Head Tyrolia. We're here in our Boulder showroom today talking about our customization process within our boots. And we have a couple of aspects to our customization process. One of them is adaptive fit technology. An adaptive fit technology is having the capabilities within one shell to choose between two last widths. We carry this technology in our adaptive fit or adapt edge boots. This is the adapt edge 90 women's. We also carry this technology in our challenger series of boots. This is a unique customization process because it allows you to choose between two last widths. In the Adapt Edge, we can choose between uh, 100 to 102 millimeter last. And the way that we do this is by using adjustment through the sole or the toe lug of the sole of the boot. And this connects to a cam mechanism inside the shell. So if you look at the center cut, we're in its widest position at the moment. We'll go ahead and turn the Allen screw and you can see that reduce into the 100 millimeter last. Now this not only changes the width of the boot but it also changes the taper angles of the boot. So it gives you two distinctly different lasts in one shell. You can use this to, to fit different types of feet on your floor. The second aspect of customization that we have through the majority of our boot line is the perfect fit liner. And the Perfect Fit Liner is a, a foam that we use. It's a combination of a PE and a PU foam. And it really makes for an impressionable foam. You get a lot of memory from the product and a lot of uh, good elasticity to the product. So the, the Perfect Fit Liner allows you to customize the boot from the toe all the way through to the top of the cuff. The tongue is 100% customizable as well. And this really gives you a unique, a unique feature in that the liner takes a mold of the shell, so you get the mold of the shell in the exterior of the liner, and then you get the mold of the foot in the interior of the liner. When you're talking about using our customization process, what you want to start with is selecting the width of your adaptive fit mechanism. So either that 100 or that 102. In the Challenger, it's a 99 to a 101 last. Once you choose that, literally a, a two minute process, then you're gonna go ahead and put the liner in the shell, put both products into the oven for five minutes if it's a head oven, five minutes if it's a Fisher oven, or three minutes if it's a Solomon oven. Literally take that out, put it back on the consumer's foot, and leave them in the boot for 10 minutes in a skiing position, and you've got a 100% customizable fit. So now we're gonna actually do the customization process. Uh, with the adaptive fit mechanism as well as the perfect fit liner. At this point we have our uh, skier here, Julia, and we have already shell sized Julia. We know that we've got her in the proper length shell. What I'm going to do next is look at her foot in relation to the shell as far as width goes and this will make our determination on the adaptive fit mechanism and how we proceed with that. So Julia, I'm going to have you go ahead and slip your right foot down into the shell. Go ahead and bring your heel all the way to the back of the boot for me. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to spread open the shell and I'm going to take a look at Julia's foot in relation to the width of the forefoot of the boot. And I can see she has a little bit of extra room. We always want a little bit, a couple of millimeters of space. Go ahead and lift your foot out of there, Julia. We always want a couple of millimeters of space on either side of the forefoot when it's sitting in the boot to allow for the uh, material of the liner just a little bit, you don't need a lot. She's got a little bit more than I would like to see, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take the boot and I'm gonna narrow it with the adaptive fit mechanism. Okay, Julia, let's go ahead and reinsert your foot. Bring your heel all the way to the back. Yep. I'm gonna look at the medial side of the foot and the lateral side of the foot. Go ahead and lift up out of there. And I can see that that's a much better fit for her. So the narrower position for the adaptive fit technology is what we want to use there. Now we're ready to go ahead and heat the boot. I'm going to go ahead and insert the liner into the shell. Okay, now we have the liner in the shell. We've gone ahead and buckled the, sh the shell up. Put the power strap back into position. Make sure you use some type of protective glove when you pull the, the boot back out of the oven. The, uh, the plastic will be hot. The buckle will be hot as well. You can go ahead insert the boot into the oven. With our oven, we're gonna use five minutes. 
So now the boot is done heating, we can go ahead and remove it from the oven. And Julia, we're gonna go ahead and place your foot into the right. boot. Slips in nice and easily. Ooh, I always recommend that the customer takes their heel and kicks their heel back. So go ahead and do that. What we're doing is we're moving the heel back into the heel pocket, moving the toes away from the front of the boot. I always like to start buckling with the top buckle and work my way down the boot. Always make sure to utilize your micro adjustments on the buckle. Go ahead and flex your knee forward a couple of times for me, Julia. Then we're just gonna have her stay in a skiing position just like this for literally 10 minutes and you've got a fully customizable boot in a total time of about 15 minutes as opposed to 45 minutes to an hour and a half with some systems. So this is the head, 100% customizable system. I encourage you to use it with your customers. It's quick, it's easy, it's precise, and it gives you happy customers and better skiers.